Okay, in this um, lesson, we now have all the one threes down and the one fives. Well, sorry, the one fours. So the next thing to understand is how can we build a solo? Now that is a monstrously difficult thing to do. And there are so many better guitar players than me. Um, I just need to state that before we start. Because um, I can only give you what I've got. So this hopefully will start you on your journey at the very least. Uh, I remember Gary back in the 1980, gosh, 81. We'd stand in his bedroom for hours playing on this old Gretsch guitar. And my second hand heap of junk. And um, he said, he'd constantly be saying, let it come, let it come, it doesn't matter, don't try and be flash, don't try and be flash. It's so difficult. You need, there are several things you need to do. You need to listen a lot. You can't do this without listening to an immense amount of blues. Now, strangely enough, I always feel a fraud when um, talking about the blues with whiskey because his knowledge is so extensive. Now, I, I wanted to play like Buddy Guy, no doubt about it, and I listened to a ton of Buddy Guy. Uh, could I name you a Buddy Guy song? One, The Garbage Man Blues. Now, that sound, might sound ridiculous, but for some reason, I was so busy on listening to the... Uh, I'm just terrible, terrible at naming blues tunes because I wanted to do it. Now that may make no sense, I know I laughed as I was saying that, because I've, uh, I just feel like I lie all the time, like I'm some fraud, but I can play it, so I've clearly listened to it. You can't do it without listening to uh, blues, you, you must steep yourself in it. I know the record, um, it was the yeah, Blues Masters Volume 2, yellow and black record, I harp on about that a lot, I wish I could find the damn thing, the black straps and orange and yellow and I played this thing to death it had left-handed Frank and Buddy Guy on there and they're the only two people I can remember were on that album if anybody knows where I can get hold of a copy of that I'm not even sure if that's the name of the thing but I used to play it for solid hours just hour after hour after hour going on in the background listening and listening and listening and listening for technique um, I'd practice just little bits all the time and my mum used to say well look what, what's the, what are you doing well, I can do this little trill now. What song's that? I've no idea, Mum. I have no idea. So when I can go... I've no idea where that picked up. I only know that I practised and practised and practised and practised. Tried to join in somewhere with a BB King tune. Somewhere with a Buddy Guy. Get one dot. And I couldn't keep up. It was impossible, but somehow I've absorbed it. Now, I've never been in a blues band. We've been out and done blues gigs. We've done plenty of blues tunes with the band, but it's so difficult to absorb. You've just got to take single techniques and practice and practice and practice and practice. I know there was the Harvey Vincent book, and it's really difficult because, of course, you want advice on how to learn how to play the guitar. All I can say is you get better by doing it. So let's jump in. We've got the one three, and we've got the one fours. One four, one three, one three, one three, one four, one four. Now the blue note is to bend. Now you can bend it a semitone. can fill it full tone. Okay, very often the tendency I remember was to be scared of So to start, play uh, the semitone, the, the fret up from the, in this case D, from the D. Play it and then bend till you hear it. 
okay? Now, even if you only do that, pick a tiny little bit and nail it. Just use the whole sequence so you've got... This is what I did with the Harvey Vincent. He taught me this riff. I mean, even just doing the down-up strokes was a killer, so God knows how I... I, I must have gone through the, the, the pain barrier with it, but you can't... It's hot. Um, it's, it's almost impossible to remember how you did it. All I can say is you've got to do it from loads and loads of different angles. Okay, so that said, let's see about building a, a solo. This will be my take on it. Now, it's so difficult because people immediately want to flash them down the neck. I consider that to be lifting heavy weights. If you're going to get stronger, you're going to lift light weights or no weight and get the movement right. So much the same in playing the guitar. You can get use lighter exercises, in other words easier riffs. You can have great volume or one big one that's really heavy. So you've got a balance. Now I would suggest that you take tiny tiny little bits and nail those and then I begin to add them together. Now I'm going to look at all the techniques first that you're going to need in order to build a solo. That's going to be hammer-ons, pull-offs, bend and whatever else we can think of. So I'm going to just have a think and think about what, what do people do. Well, there's slide down. I know BB King does the... There's a slide down. There's also the... The slide up. So that's one. And you can do that on any string. Or, okay, it can be done on two strings. Okay, then there's the bend. Generally on the blue note, there's a bend up and kill. And then a, a start bend. And then there's bend up and down, up and down. Generally accompanied by a hammer on. Start one note, bang that on. So pluck, hammer, pluck, hammer, pluck, hammer, and then there's a pull off. Now I practice them together. Pluck, hammer, pull off. It takes a long time, so let it come. Then there's a slide into place, and there's tremolo. There's different ways, and I wonder who that is. So it, these things take a long time. Then you got wiggling a note, as opposed to you can do it that way. You can waggle it, or you can with the BB King. Trem, which is really difficult. I don't know if BB King does it. I still uh, did it rather. I, I, I still can't do it really well enough. But it doesn't matter. I can get the sort of flavour. The next technique is uh, bend to match, I call it. Bend a note to match a note. So I want to play an E note. I'm starting on a D on this string. D. I want to bend this note. To get the same note. Oops. Okay. Oh, it's murder. So yeah, <laughs> this. The, okay. So that's bending one string to match the the note on another. The other thing you can do is bend and pull in other notes. So it was bend up, strike note. So you'll you'll hear the very commonly used in rock and roll. Okay, 
Then we've got the double string trem, two, two notes. Yeah, using two notes. Sliding two notes. And tapping, playing two notes. Double string bend. All those are used. Playing two notes just together. Now this took insane amounts of practice. So pick one, take your time. There are loads of videos on YouTube on each one, take your time. All I can say is it's hours and hours and hours and hours of a job. Okay, so those are the techniques required to build a solo. Now we'll look, then next video we'll go and have a look at what to put in it. Now that really is a difficult job uh, and that's where we start. I need your help there at Whiskey to, to just give me, some, uh, give me some steers as what you'd like to see in it from other guitarists. This is where we can begin to develop um, who's influencing it. Who influ influences us, pardon me. And uh, of course I'll be looking at Buddy Guy. And we'll start to do a treatise of his technique. Okay, see you later. Hope this helps and have a good day.